Welcome to another Field of Glory 2 Hot Seat Battle with Dark Fire Slide. Here we have Ashton871, he's got the English, I've got the Vikings, and Dark Fire, you've got turn one. Alright, so a uh, little bit of a confession for me. So this is my first Field of Glory 2 Ancients multiplayer battle. Um, most of my experience at this point has been in Medieval, so I'm not like an experience to the series, but... This is my first time uh, using this engine. I don't think it's going to be too different. I'm familiar with all the unit types that are here, so I can't imagine it'll be that different, but, uh, you know, hey, it is still worth mentioning, I think. Yeah, I think the only unit here, because it's so close in timeline to the start of Medieval that you're not familiar with, is those Berserkers. Yeah. So if you take a look, they're Warriors, so great at medium foot, but they pursue, and they're unmaneuverable. Quality is Elite, which, um, if you control-click on that, will it bring up the summary? Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, quality is plus 100 for Elite. Okay. Uh, however, they are a pretty small unit. Uh, so it's a different unit scale here. But they're five figures, as you can see. So in other words, they're going to suffer pretty heavily uh, combat strength. In addition, being swordsmen, uh, unless they disrupt the enemy on contact, they're going to have that swordsman POA halved as well. Right. Otherwise, disrupt, all of the units are pretty standard stuff that you should be familiar with. Right. And I mean, those uh, berserkers are the unit anyway. Yeah. That little uh, bit of cat interference and the, there. Uh, the herdsmen are basically Huskarls minus 17 armor POA. So, gotcha. But, you know, it's basically a, a bunch of offensive spearmen and pretending to care about skirmishers, but not really. Right. <laughs> all right let me get a... Lay the land a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it looks like looks like for the most part just a two big fat blocks of spears with a minimal amount of uh, lights. Yep, yep. You've got the numbers. I've got the terrain. I've got a little bit on you in terms of quality. Let's see. So herdsmen in the front, feared men in the back. Right, let's let's look at something. So probably You know, one of the things I really appreciate about Fog is that like a, a battle like this seems like really simplistic on its surface. Like in other games people would be like, Oh my gosh, it's just two lines of spearmen, but like knowing these mechanics and seeing like these offensive spearmen, for example, is just knowing that like Utter chaos is awaiting, basically. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's admittedly, you know, this is going to be simpler than, uh, well, even our last match, to be honest, which had a few more, like, combined arms elements. But, yeah, there's still a lot to think about. And I have played this scenario once, but that was like, man, it was probably more than two years ago now. I was about to say, yeah, because you were, you did this like before I was probably even playing Fog. Probably, yeah. That that series where I did all the battles took me like two years to record. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, partially I was stalled when I was like waiting for DLC releases, but mostly it just took that long. Right. And I recall this one being, uh, if not incredibly balanced, uh, not noticeably unbalanced, which, you know, some of the scenarios are pretty obviously unbalanced. Yeah, uh, I've got a but... lot of uh, spearmen. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like I've seen both sides win this. But if I lose, I'll be sure to blame it on the scenario being imbalanced. Don't worry. Oh, oh of course. As yeah. you do. <laughs> I, so one thing that's interesting is like you know since well you you are also now recording your matches it's so tempting when you lose to be like oh this thing was totally outside of my control you know like because that's just human nature but it's really tough to walk back from that sometimes uh, but the effort I think does make you a better player oh absolutely yeah the, one of the best ways you can get better at like any game right is by just being willing to like admit your mistakes. 
Well, and the thing is, like, I really don't think luck is a huge deal most of the time. I think it's possible that I actually might underplay it a little bit sometimes. Um, Personally, in reaction to people who, like, you know, blame everything on RNG or say the game is bad because there's RNG. Uh, But I think part of it is also, like, you know, look, if you're going to... No, no one's going to be able to perfectly figure out with hindsight what exactly happened. So if you're going to err on one side, it's better to err towards uh, concentrating on the things that are or were within your control, right? Because that's Absolutely. something you can improve on in the future. And if you have bad luck, well, like, you know, you need to do better at taking that possibility into account and stuff, but there's nothing you can directly do to affect it. I think people focus too much in games like this that have RNG on the fact that there is RNG. Like, it's, like, absolutely possible for a game to be, like, imbalanced by RNG, but, like, that doesn't mean it's a bad game, right? Like, well, and it's also... RNG, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, something that RNG does, uh, your turn, by the way, is uh, it creates excitement in the game because it, it creates situations that aren't always in your control, and that can actually be, like, really exciting. Uh, when you have to react to something that you didn't entirely plan for. Yeah, I mean, it, it's also, like, I think another thing that people uh, might sometimes lose sight of is, like, okay, yeah, you lost the game because this one bad thing happened. Why did you put yourself in a position where you could lose the game from this one bad thing happening, right? Yeah, exactly. And when you go back and you watch matches, like... If, you know, we have the luxury of that because we can actually, like, watch the recording on right. some of our matches, but um, when you actually go back and you look at that kind of stuff, I mean, like, a lot of the time, it's like a mix of luck. You know, you didn't just have bad luck. Yeah. It just depends, because one thing about this game is learning how to manage, like, like those differences in luck, basically. Like, is your good luck going to be something that causes the entire line to break, or is it just going to break one unit and then doesn't matter? <laughs> yeah. Trying to not get outflanked here. I was about to say this is this is a pretty messy like uh, map for for the most part, but yeah, it's it's a pretty interesting yeah. setup. Don't don't love my initial deployment. Okay, what do we got here? One of each, three bows. Hmm. Uh, you know, fuck it. None of this is really going to ultimately matter in any way, but... I was about to say, yeah, uh, like... Go for it. Why not? And three to two on this side. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. Over to you. All right. And let's see. Push off these archers. Even the score a little bit. Did it. So this line moved up and then become immediately worried at the presence of raised earth. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's just plus twenty five. It's not that bad. I suspect this will probably be a pretty quick one, given that we don't have to like waste a lot of time maneuvering. That's very true. 
And I mean, every fog match goes faster when you're not spending like, you know, uh, <laughs> 20 minutes trying to figure out your force comp. True. I guess in a sit-down game like this, too, there's, like, a little bit of sense of not, like, dawdling too much. Oh, for sure. Uh, I don't often, but I will occasionally, when I'm playing uh, regular PBEM, just, like, cut the recording to think about what the hell I'm doing. Oh, I've done that, too. I usually say it even. Yeah, I always cut it for force comp deployment, of course. Some people like to show that part, but I just take too long, so... Yeah, it's just, it's just so much faster to like explain what you're doing, and then yeah, once you've decided, yeah, yeah. Did I see anything? No, that's it. Okay, over to you. Uh, yeah, let's see. Always, always found the Anglo Saxons kind of interesting. Just like this, like Germanic Christian, like kingdom that like ruled uh, England for a, a not insubstantial amount of time. <laughs> oh, they, they weren't Christian at first. Nope. It's been a while since I read it. I think my recollection of how the Anglo-Saxons kind of like came to be was that the Romans hired them as mercenaries and then they more or less just decided we're just going to keep the island. Thanks. Kinda. I mean, that's definitely how some of them turned up there and then they like told their friends and stuff, but it's also complicated that like, you know, there was no the Romans by that point. There's like yeah, that's various fair. local nobility and then uh there's probably been immigration already, and it probably wasn't all military necessarily. Right. A really great historical novel is called *The Wake*. It's written like sort of a faux old English, not actual, but it feels like that's what you're reading. It's uh, I think it's been succinctly described as a post-apocalyptic novel set in post-conquest England. Right. So. It's not necessarily like super historically accurate, but it's not super historically inaccurate. It's very atmospheric, and the uh, the language is it's weird in that like you feel like you're trying to read a foreign language, but then you find oh, yourself yeah. that about thirty pages or so in, they are able to just naturally read it all of a sudden. That's really cool. Like like to do that with a novel. Yeah. Yeah, a dude who wrote it is like kind of like radical environmentalist anarchist or something like that um so he's not like you know a trained historian or anything but i thought it was a great book and it's really like bloody and full of insanity and it's just like incredibly disturbing which is exactly what we want excellent <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah yeah that's that's fine we're getting our shit sorted out here all right over to you all right As, yeah, I really wanted that disrupt on the shield wall, and instead, this is gonna happen to me, but it's fine. Alright, well, you rat bastards. Nope. Oh. Okay. Freaking hero light archers. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna auto break in not too long, I imagine. Oh, yeah. I just realized how small the numbers actually are for yeah, this Yeah, it's, it's all scaled the same, though, so it doesn't really matter. I actually advocated against the uh, scaling unit sizes in Medieval. Uh, Anxious doesn't have that outside oh, of so scenarios. They, oh, so these are always... So, so all the Ancients battles are always, like, consistent in size. That's nice, actually, because yeah, yeah. it's confusing. In yeah, I, I did find that like I got used to it pretty quickly, but it kind of annoyed me. And I was completely fine. I was like, "Yep, your standard infantry is approximately 480 men. And that just is what it is." Yeah, it's like. But Richard's point was that, like, well, you know, historically, it would make more sense to have it scale accordingly, and there are going to be people who care about that. So. 
That's true. I mean, you know, this game, this this game, this type of game is appealing to a very specific audience. So but I don't know, because like I'm kind of those people, and I didn't care. <laughs> you know, I I know, right? Like it, some people get so hung up on like little details like that. I think, like like ultimately, it, it's a unit, right? Like well, and part of my concern wasn't just for like it annoyed me. I mean, that that was true. But also, like, you know, if you're learning the system, it's going to be more difficult to wrap your head around that. That's very true. The shuffling sound of shield walls intensifies. Yeah. The other thing I advocated against with the units we have here is I believe if you click on the description of the shield wall, uh, like if you control click on them, Scroll up to the top. Spearman and offensive shield wall may include some archers. Oh. So uh, I advocated to strike that line of text because, like, functionally they don't. Right? It's abstracted. Yeah. Uh, but again, uh, Richard said, "No, we should keep it because then people in the know are going to complain if we don't." Uh, and it's like, oh, are they? But those but I guess people probably don't them. really yeah. read those descriptions anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't even know. That was the thing. <laughs> uh, well, I knew that you just had like descriptions. I just didn't realize you could control click like that. Oh, you did it? Oh, it's incredibly useful. It tells you all the it, it POAs is, uh, and all that shit. Man, I just read the manual. I did it the hard way. I don't think I really read the manual until I was pretty deep into the games. I just found myself like I think I played for probably about twenty hours before I realized like Wait a minute, something's funky about this game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you need, if nothing else, to look at, like, the, the charts. But the, the control click tells you all the chart stuff. Oh, that's how it's going to be. <laughs> Indeed it is. All right, well, let's get off the downhill. The, the terrifying thing here that I'm immediately noticing is uh, if I lose a melee here or if I get you pushed. win a melee and you initiate it right yeah. you either push me uphill or you get pushed downhill but yeah, that's why a... you get, that's why you have more men you know so you can absorb some punishment right Thanks. and you also seem to have more herdsmen than I have huskarls yeah I see that as well a lot of these herdsmen yeah and like quality is more important than armor in this game Especially in this game, because like medieval's full of dudes with like heavy armor and all this stuff. Oh, but yeah, dude. Ancients, freaking... there's like cataphracts and clibs and like the Varangian guard. I think that's it. Otherwise, the highest armor you see is armored, and most units are protected. Yeah, whereas medieval's got like dismounted men at arms, which are like, you know, terminators basically. Right. Here we'll just plank because fuck it. All right, shift over. Let's start getting this line straightened out for contact. I'm glad I decided to give multiplayer a try. It definitely is like just a vastly different experience than single player. Oh yeah, it is. It's a completely different game. Absolutely. Oh, it's bad on who you're playing. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I mean, like... Sometimes you know. it's not a completely different game. Well, I mean, even when you do play against, like, bad players, they're usually, like, bad in a different way than the AI. Like, That's true. Like, AI, the AI will, like, almost never charge knights into the rough, for example. That's true. The AI like... at least, like, knows zocking and POAs. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really interesting how it plays, because, yeah, it's, like... It won't take, like, intentionally bad POAs, and it does set up flanks. I wish... So that can make it interesting. It, it, it understands the, like, interactions. It just doesn't understand the overall strategy, basically. Right. It also can't move in a straight line to save its life. <laughs> well, there is that.
Let's see, how many generals? I got one general here, probably one over here, and then that's it. Yeah. Okay, I figured. And this area here is a problem. Still overall pretty smooth performance in the remote play. Oh yeah, yeah, the remote play is working just fine. Nice. Still just so weird uh, <laughs> that it wasn't like working at all for some reason. Very strange. Oh, uh, it's still uh, disabled for medieval for some reason. If someone must yeah, have guess... just like fucked something up. Yeah, the patch just like. I don't know if it was a, a uh, fog medieval patch thing or some kind of steam thing or what, but yeah. Right. Because you can see it when you check the uh, the store page, that it clearly shows that there is no remote play functionality for medieval right now. Yeah, yeah, you pointed it out in the Discord, and it was like, oh wow, yeah, it's like it's a feature just like gone, basically. Yep. Something that's kind of refreshing about some of these uh, types of battles is uh, actually having battles where there's no cavalry at all. It's always interesting. There's uh, some army lists with no cavalry, which is, uh, well, definitely forces you to think different. Yeah. <laughs> Cat is yelling at me. I don't know what he wants. What do you want, dude? <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's see. Make sure we don't get anything. All right. Looks good. Okay. That's you? good. That was your turn. So I was completely distracted. Um, <laughs> this dude's like kind of on my lap okay what the hell was i doing um yeah you're bullshit there okay whatever we're gonna deal with that later let's start prepping for contact then okay then what uh what if I amused myself? Right?
Oh, right, you guys are still here for some reason. Oh, man, I can see where your invisible lights are. I know, ones. I know. Oh, man. The somehow, integrity of this match is yeah, completely somehow I feel like it's compromised. It's gonna be okay. I wish these lights would all just disappear like I don't even care. <laughs> but I don't want to like just get them killed either. It's kind of a dilemma. Uh just like just go hang out. Yeah, go hang out there. All right. Gonna pause recording for one second here, okay? Yep. And we're back. Uh, and I think I was just wrapping right. up my turn. Over to you. All right. Let's see what we got. Zero to six. There's a chance this doesn't trigger a check. Oh, yeah, that's definitely going to be a check. Yep. Ooh. Nice. Well, aren't they just wonderful? Well, it's stuck in. in here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, spicy. That's a, yeah, that's an interesting card. <laughs> All right. Ugly start for me there. That's so bad. I hate that. <laughs> it's only 25 POA, yeah, but... Ugh. Wasting this, like, probably, like, I don't know, 50, 60 point unit fighting some regular offensive spheres. Uh, they are 60. The Ancients points costing system is different. Gotcha. Uh, basically, Knights result in uh, Heavy Foot being cheaper in Medieval, and Non-Knightly mm. Cavalry being cheaper. Gotcha. Uh, and medium foot too, but light foot is largely the same. Let's see. Let's go into the totally safe woods. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> it's OSHA approved. <laughs> the OSHA approved woods. That's oh, oh. right. That's right. Good Our job. Jesus says no. I mean, that yeah, was, that was exactly a skill, happened. you know? <laughs> yeah, man, you'd completely, like... Totally outplayed out. your ass there. It's just, that's oh, just yeah. your lack of experience, you know? It's just... <laughs> no, you don't have to feel bad, it's fine. Yeah, don't you know that when you charge into woods and ancients, you have, like, a negative 3,000 POA, exactly. but only if it's your turn? Let's let's see. So I am maybe eventually slowly going to flank you here. However, it really is slow. Hmm. 
But we're losing melee because... Armor. Right. Less than ideal. Yeah, okay. six, 16 POA. It's not quite negligible, but, you know. In that melee, I don't think so. Uh, at least they held firm. That's true. All right. My first question I have to any unit that doesn't like stick in a melee like that is, um, how dare you? Don't you understand what's on the line here? Don't you see the urgency of the situation? Like, I need you to provide this actual unit. It's like a more, common like, additional POA. A common thing people One. ask is like, can't I set the evade stance on my units instead of having them auto evade? It's like, no. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you're not the one making that decision. The unit it's like is. You're wearing your fucking pajamas, carrying a sling, and this like knight is thundering down on you. You think you're gonna decide like? Oh, well, this seems real bad, but it's for a good cause. <laughs> That's right. What? No. Oh, yeah. You absolute fucking. All right. Wow. What can we do with that situation? <sighs> Put it off and think about it later. That's what we're going to do about it. <laughs> Uh, Absolutely. Th this is the way. This is the way. Don't like that. Ooh. All mm -hmm. right. Okay. Well, well, well. Actually, like the idea of initiating there right now. Yeah, this situation is not not ideal. <laughs> All right. All right. 
ready. Okay. You know it's desperate when like you're zoning out archers, like light <laughs> archers with defensive spears or offensive spears in this case. Something has gone monumentally wrong. Oh, for okay. fuck's sake. <laughs> for fuck's sake. All right. Now we're in. Let's go. Yeah, what's funny is uh, what I was actually trying to do is... <laughs> no, 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 no. Or, no, uh... no, no don't, don't, don't ruin this for yourself. <laughs> Just enjoy the moment. Just be like, yeah, I knew that would happen. <laughs> It was it was all skill the whole time. One hundred percent skill. All right, let's do the other bad thing uh, for you. Oh, that could have been worse. Oh, it certainly could have, couldn't it? Do you want me to tell you? Yeah, I was about to say, what I want to do is move these javelins here, but... Move the slingers 90 degrees to their left. Like this? Yeah. Then they can shoot, and then the javelins can pass through them and shoot as well. Head on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> anytime. <laughs> I was like, shit, I? It's like, oh, fuck it, we're not really... It's not a competitive situation, so... Yeah, yeah. The, the, there was intention there. Yeah. bad things are about to start happening, so... I got a nice edge with the auto-drop of my hussies, so... Right, let's resolve some of these and see what happens. This might have been a terrible idea. We'll see. Nope. Okay, there's the frag. Hmm. I think we set up here anyway. I'll probably be fine. Probably. Maybe. Who knows? This unit is not going to be fine, though. No. This unit is also not fine. Stuck in here.
Okay. Right, anyone need to resolve melee still? Nope, that's it. All right. Over to you. But but you didn't resolve those melees. See, look what you missed out on. <laughs> Apparently. Oh, <laughs> I need to push this back. Uh, what kinds of bendis? Well, we're gonna... You know. Oh, nice. While we still can. Okay. Seed Rock the Old. What a bitch. decide if I want to wait to see when this unit gets pushed back. I probably do. Let's see if my patience is tested. I'll give it at least <laughs> at least one turn. Alright, let's see. Is that unit go squish? Yep. They do disrupt. Oh, they didn't charge in. That's interesting. Oop, another frag. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, chaos, confusion. <laughs> oh. oh. All right. Nasty. Okay. Pew pew. Yeah, somehow I don't think that's gonna be a battle winner. Wow, we cost a check. <laughs> yeah, that did though. get a check, jeez. Yeah. It's always weird with lights because they're so like arrow spongy and then like they'll check off something like that too. Okay. Well, you're gonna die, which means we're probably gonna need to plug that. I mean, whatever, okay. Right then. All right. Go for the break. Yep, All fair right. enough. Everybody have a firm, that's fine. Yeah. They're all pretty close to full strength, so... Right. Let's leave everything there. Let's go and get a auto drop here. Ooh. Nope. Alright. Okay. I think that's the right call. Nice. Then that sets me up for auto drop next turn if they make it. I don't see why they wouldn't. If they got pushed back. Hmm.
Which one of these units is less totally boned? This one. All right. <laughs> oh, they frag. Not good. Ah, oh, they might. They might make it still. Ooh. 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 Ah, they're not gonna make it. No. <laughs> I move here and turn. Yes. Oh, yep. Yep. Good call on that. Nice. I wasn't sure. I would have been pissed off if it didn't happen. I passed on that 65%. Right. Ooh. That makes nice. it a bit more hazardous to do, though. I guess I could have charged. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was wondering. I was like, "Is he gonna? Is he gonna do that?" Because it's such a like, such a, like niche thing to do. Oh, I just wasn't paying attention. Not gonna lie. Oh, okay. <laughs> I caught it like a couple turns ago and then completely forgot about it. And we'll just turn you out now, I guess. It doesn't really we'll matter really in the sense that the, the main thing was keeping those spears out of the main battle. The main battle is going to be decided before they're back anyway. Right. Okay. Uh, so, these units break. Yep. All right. Uh, this unit's probably toast, fortunately. Okay. I don't think I can turn here if I do that. No. That's okay, though. In. Well, this is my best win chance for the turn, so why not? Hmm. That's a that could be good. All right, over to you. Very good. could be horrible. He'll be okay. The superior. Nope. <laughs> oh, nope. Guess not. I lied. Okay, uh, <laughs> yes, get rid of this fucker. Oh, this is just tragic. It's a very sad day for that unit. bad situation for me though yeah i mean terrain yeah. aside i just didn't have the numbers to keep co like the integrity of my line and attack but i also couldn't depend on you to just attack me because you had mildly more skirmishers and a longer line wrapping around 
Interesting. I don't know if I want to even try to help these guys, except they're just screwed. <laughs> I think they're just totally screwed. Oh, yeah. Held for a turn. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's see, since you have to fight me this turn anyhow. Be most inspiring and least dangerous. This rally for you. All right. Ooh, very nice. Potentially very useful rally there. Okay. Uh, question because I don't know this unit. Mm -hmm. uh, so say I charge with these Spearsmen here into mm -hmm. the back of these Berserkers. Is there any chance they like fall back if they lose that melee? Uh, if your unit loses melee or? If, if yours loses. Mine can't fall back obviously because there's uh, this they're unit in the way. They're facing the wrong way so there's no fall back, push back, anything back from that angle. Gotcha, okay. This would generally be a safe move then. I would highly recommend it because it deadens their impact. The the main thing I was thinking was, um, I wanted to know if it would might have been necessary to block off their retreat with the light archers. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. I'm just used to like knights and stuff like that. That you know, shock units that do like bounce like that a lot. Huge. Yeah, uh, because they're foot, they don't do the auto turn around. So that right. remains confined to horse. Good. Still good here. Good. Nice. Ooh. Beautiful. I can keep rolling that unless they push you back here. I think I could safely go for a flank charge on one of these units potentially. Only one. Yeah. Well, on the other hand, I could just have this unit sit here and hold with Sock. Hmm. I'll come back to that. All right, you cowards. Get in there. Oh, man. I cannot believe that my guys whipped that impact. Come on. Now, question becomes, I think we just take the safer one here. See, it's, yeah, the soon it's losing more, I think I'll help this one out. This one also triggers two checks if it breaks. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let's get this unit out of here. Okay. And get our auto drop set up. All right.
Yeah, you know, it's funny is um, when I first started playing this game, I, I did not have the appropriate amount of respect. I don't want to say appreciation, but I definitely didn't have the appropriate amount of respect for, like, defensive spears and defensive spear, like, type units. Oh, yeah. Get stuck in there, try to maybe save that unit, although I'm doubtful. Uh, they might. Hold on. Oh, oh well. Interesting. All right. And now the awful things. Okay. And forget anything. I'll keep that unit there for now. It's fine. I'll go ahead and take this. So 27%. Could do something here. Eh, got a win. It's not nothing. This in here. This in here. Held her return though. And hopefully I can start rolling this up next turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you won this a couple turns ago. Oh, really? Nice. Alright. On to you. Yeah, I think namely it's a dilemma of like to keep my line cohesive, I would have needed to stay still. But if I stayed still, I would give you time to wrap around my left flank. Right, exactly. I think. I don't know, like, if I were in the Viking position, I think it might have been a case of, like, uh, shifting the line over to the, uh, what is the, like, right side of the screen, like, or bottom, like, I guess. Like, compacting more and, like, maybe, like, anchoring on this. Yeah, so, like, the this. idea being, because cause this, that side So then if you tried is... to wrap around, you run into this bullshit, which still sucks. Yeah, I mean, there is still that probability, but if you, you know, you have a couple of turns to move around, I think. So... But hey, it's uh, one thing that's great about this game. Always just wondering, like, what if I'd done this instead? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's probably a double break. Oh, probably. No? Alright. It was pretty lucky that I held on those Berserkers, though. That's probably the riskiest move I took this, what, this? Uh, battle. Oh, yeah. but they were guaranteed to stick it because of their friendlies behind them. That is true. <laughs> Spicy. And out of here. Nice. Hmm. No pushback. Yeah, pretty lucky. For me, anyway. Uh, I guess we pile in, we're out of time. Two turns, maybe? Maybe three. Might get a little bit. Yeah, it, de it depends a on a grindy. couple of factors. Yeah. Let's see. Can't... No, I can't turn. Okay, cool. Alright. And then this is a flank. Here we go. Interesting. And nobody coming in to join, so let's just pile in. Okay. Alright, uh, just go and resolve these. My little micro detail probably would have been better to resolve first against the Berserkers in case I lost against the Spears. Mm. Totally agreed. Yep. Uh, 
But, I mean, how dead do I want these archers to be? Like, pretty dead, I think. Okay. And yeah, we'll just go across the line here. Uh, not a flank. Interesting. It's not a flank, so you have to start 90 degrees or greater. It's yeah, it's like one of those situations where it's like just barely not. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get stuck in there. Oh, squish. Oh, no pushback. Okay, I was like, I was like, are we gonna, are we gonna see a pushback? Nope. All right. Uh. This unit here to start setting up. Okay, so yeah, also not a flank, I think. Well, let's see if this unit holds first. Okay, they hold firm, but they could push back next turn. That could be tricky. Uh, soon it, hmm. Tough, uh, tough choice here. So if I. This unit probably holds, but let's let's say he doesn't, right? That could be really messy. I think I'd probably start by engaging here, though. The alternative would have been to move that unit directly forward to that flanking tile, then resolve the bad melee, then charge with the other unit. Yeah, that's true. Okay, we hold. And let's start rolling up. Okay, no frag yet. Okay. Let's just let's just get stuck in. Let's just murder this unit entirely. Give you absolutely no chance of survival. <laughs> I like I said, I think that passed quite a while ago. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry, I rotated the camera. <laughs> Force a habit, unfortunately. Right. I mean, you do you. It's your turn. All right, on to you. Yeah, this is a cool historical battle. Pretty cool little scuffle we had here. Oh. Just go down the line. Not much to do at this point. <laughs> Oof. I, always, I always love the uh, the cool like. Uh, oh wow! I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Ooh. That was uh, King Ethelred, who is who is now oh, lying in a ditch. Oh, <laughs> look at that! That's Perfect. Unfortunate. <laughs> oh my god. You Oops. uh, I well love and hate to see it. <laughs> Wouldn't quite call that a misclick. I would call it a wasn't paying attention for a moment. But I guess I can kind of fudge it. There we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> okay, guys. I see that the spirit of the fight has gone out of you. I'm just not that kind of Viking anymore. Guess not. Right. Onward. I like making wicker baskets and... Bead jewelry. I'm not a fighter. Thank goodness for the uh, dispersion rule, by the way. Oh, like, they, they don't uh, just run around forever. Yeah. 
They used to run around for twice as long. Yeah, I was there for that at least. Yeah, these units are just like exceptionally dead. Nice. Good. Oh man, okay. <laughs> oh man. Okay, that was lucky. <laughs> That was just straight up lucky. Oh, man. No, no, no. No, come on. You gotta stop doing this to yourself. I was, uh, sorry. <laughs> it was all part of my, uh, master plan. I, I read this go. in a treatise by, uh, Frederick the Great somewhere. Yeah. He, he wrote something specifically about Viking shield walls. Yeah, up upsell as yourself you, there. As, as you know. Man, this is, uh, well, I wouldn't call this ideal. <laughs> It's not right. bad, so left units a bit beat up and downhill, but otherwise. Alright, these guys gotta go. Nice. There we go. Nope. Well, that was surprising. You don't want to get that auto drop? I mean, granted, you're in the woods, but like, why not? It, so this is always like the temptation, right? All right? Let's see what happens here first. Okay. So, yes, it's good, but two things. Maybe just one thing. I've got a unit, another unit set up, ready to auto. Sure. Yeah. And then now I don't feel as bad about having unit here. That's just like completely, uh, like, severely disordered. Okay. Uh, auto drop on these archers. I guess I give should me that, just run them away. Give me that one percent. I got a board of dealing with them. I honestly understand. Okay, looking good there. Oh, we've discovered a hidden unit, and now we can't complete the move we were going to originally. I hate that so much. <laughs> oh, you would hate Pike and Shot then. Oh, is that like a major problem in Pike and Shot? Well, so instead of resolving melees in your turn, they're resolved during a separate melee phase in between turns. Right. And then there's a residual fire phase where the enemy units... Uh, will fire if they haven't fired it during your turn because when you fire upon them or when you move within their arc of fire they'll fire upon you depending on their quality yeah yeah that that i'm fine with so the, when you uh, move you get blasted and then it can interrupt your movement yeah it's not only the, well, well the thing that actually annoys me I'm, I'm fine with the residual fire what annoys me is like there's an undo button right or, or like, there's certain moves you can only make from like the start of your turn, and spotting a hidden unit stops you from making that move. Yeah, that's what I'm like not as cool with. That 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 kind of irritates me a little bit. All right. Well, sadly, we must continue. Uh. Wish. I mean, I guess at this point, there's nothing to lose. You might as well. Wow, these Berserkers have been an utter disappointment. Have you noticed that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think there were some bad rolls. I mean, there was an 86% that uh, they lost. I mean, I mean, it's the night problem, right? Where, yeah, like, it is the night problem. At least they're not that expensive. That's true. That's true. And then it's like, whenever you actually need them to perform well, they just whiff it. And yeah, die. and I mean, like, it is always awesome when you get those, like, legendary, like, flanks and stuff like that. Uh, but a lot of the time, knights, like, just have that problem where they, like, it's like 86% and then they, <laughs> they lose. And it's like, I really need to do yep, <laughs> to yep. succeed that this turn. I'm not saying uh... the entire tactical plan hinged on it. But, like, kind of. Or you're just playing the French. Or you're just playing the French, and that's all you have, yeah. 
Unless you want to bring like six raw spears, you know. Uh, let's see that French list. I think it gets two low country spears. Maybe it only gets one. They do, yeah. They get a, they get a decent amount of defensive spears. It's just that like the they are, can bring their shooting notes. is garbage. Uh, question about offensive spears, mm -hmm. uh, as I am not super familiar with these I types guess of battles. I you don't use them much in medieval, yeah, that's true. Like, like, they exist in some lists, but this is a situation I've not come into. If I, um, or maybe I'm just now paying attention to it. If I uh, impact with this unit, if two uh, units are engaging one, is there a pushback chance still, or does that stop? Mm -hmm. There is still a pushback chance. So if this unit pushed back, then my would go directly backwards, and then yours would shuffle into its place and then face it. Gotcha. So you lose okay. your flank chance. Right. So, so even if I pile in with this unit, there's a chance it just steps backward anyway. Correct. Okay. In that case, let's start moving this unit around. And yes, that might just be that you weren't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. There's a 25. Oh, yep. Yeah. All right, this could be it. Basically, unless you rally, right? Or, or unless something. something breaks? I don't know if yeah. you have anything that can break, though. Oh, that frag unit, sure. Oh, oh yeah, this, yeah, this is probably gone. Yep. All right. Squish. Where's that? Oh, they're all the way over there. Did you oh, get I mean... for playing zoomed in so fucking close? <laughs> yeah. Don't <laughs> <laughs> let these men running for their lives, I guess, run for their lives a little bit more. Very honorable. What happens if I push this one along? Oh, okay, they just stay put. That's fine. These spears... Yeah, let's turn these, actually. Alright, on to you. Alright. Ooh, that's good for you. Hmm. Wait, what? Oh, Why is all this good luck happening now? <laughs> I really could have used this earlier. I know. Uh, like, okay. No, I keep hoping they're gonna fall back. This unit's gonna auto break at sixty-nine men. Sure. So you're saying there's a chance? Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> a chance of that, I guess. <laughs> oh. Another auto break. Gross. Alright. Okay. Um, oh, oh All and right. then you can zone them out so I can't auto drop them. Ironically, if I'd stayed here and based it, then I would now be auto dropping them. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I should at least waste your time, though. Yeah, it would have at least been, like, a lower chance. Held firm. Alas. <laughs> yeah, this was still a pretty, I mean, like, 
It's it started it's in my do. favor and kept going that way, but oh yeah, it's still in your favor. I mean, it's still. I, I, I feel like it was a pretty over. even like game though. I yeah, think. definitely a pretty balanced uh, historical battle here. You know, if I recall correctly, when you attack with this unit to here, default padding is going to be through the center tile. I think so. Yes. So fuck you, I guess. Yeah, so that that zone probably works, yeah. I mean, whatever. <laughs> Not a thing <laughs> I generally do, but given the situation. All right, Let's see if you got some rallies here. Yes, that's, uh, you know. The Slingers. About time. Alright, let's get in here. Should win this. Yep. However slowly. Let's just get stuck in this turn. You might as well. Started. Yeah. Yep. Let's do that. We win again. Yes, but those are gonna auto break soon. All right. Just uh, move on along then. All right. Uh, one second, please. Yep. Please hold. And we're back. All right. Let's see. Yep, it is gonna block the Zoc there. Ooh, that's like peak, peak obnoxious. And then if you had a light unit that you could shove into that tile, right, then it could reroute you into the auto drop. Right. <laughs> Just, yeah. Oh, this is so horrible. Okay. Uh, losing there. It is, yeah, it is going to be closer than I initially thought it was going to be. Yeah, I still think I win. It's just a matter of, like, on what time frame, basically. Right. See, it probably breaks this turn. Nope. Nope. They might hold at least on long enough for you to get that drop. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe. All right, sir. This is just unacceptable behavior. You're gonna have to stop that. <laughs> you really have to question the intelligence of those dudes. <laughs> We're just gonna stand and fight anyway. Well, it's like you should Here. just keep running. I'm sure that four casualties will be totally of consequence. And let's see what happens here. May they disrupt. Alrighty. Onto you? Oh, maybe. There we go. Okay. Oops, squish. I mean, 
The only hope <laughs> you, is that the only hope is that when this unit gets attacked, it gets pushed downhill and delays the auto drop, right. which is not a great hope to have. <laughs> <laughs> Those uh, herdsmen are uh, really shining this game, I think. Yeah. Come on. Probably. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Charging up my own hill. There we go. Wow, so much for my two turns prediction. <laughs> right? Okay. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Some flanks are so juicy that like you love seeing them get lined up on your own units. I mean, it's like you think they would have noticed. Ooh, ooh, okay. You think they would have noticed by now that the battle was lost, and they should probably like you know leave. Leave? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, sixty percent. Okay. Ah, this will be very impactful. Just wait. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and end turn. Should be a couple melee to solve, I think. Yeah, I think so, but... We'll just let those automatically resolve. Oh! Bonus there at the end. <laughs> All right. Well played. Thank you. Thank so, you. So, yeah, was... we discussed it earlier, but I think maybe, maybe, and I'm, I'm going to say I'm not convinced, but camping like this isn't a good option because eventually the Viking player will get outflanked or shot up. And coming forward like I did here, even though it felt like a good idea because of the hills, I didn't have the numbers to both do that and keep my line from splitting apart and getting internally rolled up, which is exactly what you did. So maybe the smart thing to do is to line up on the hill, maybe anchor on this hill or like this section here. Uh, so, I mean, like, it's something maybe I would need to try once, like... You know, you gotta try everything once, like pineapple on your pizza, like methamphetamines, like all kinds of shit. <laughs> of but course, of course. I personally don't think it would work. I think the numbers problem would remain. Any, I think any defensive play would result in getting wrapped around. Yeah, you'd almost have to like, like if I were doing it, maybe like, uh, you'd want to like square a little bit on some of these like hills edges to, to maybe stop that a little bit. But even then, oh, you never... know, with any war game, you always run into the problem of uh, threes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. So. Yeah. yeah. It's tricky either way. So that was battle two in our hot seat series that we are going to be irregularly doing. Uh, when medieval has functionality again we'll probably go back to that for a while if that's a game that you're more familiar with but for now we can find more ancients battles that don't involve super weird and uniquely ancients stuff all right so uh, thank you for the game yeah good game well played good game till next time